This is Ozarks Fox AM. Good morning on this wonderful Wednesday to Ozarks Fox AM. I'm Jeremy Rabe. And I'm Kelly Smith. Thank you for joining us. Wowza Wednesday. Here we go. Oh, I, I called it wonderful because I got an email from a viewer who loved when we name our days because she oh. is a, I believe, a yoga or oh. jazzercise teacher. She goes, every day in my class, I call every day like oh, something. Marvelous Monday and then yeah. Terrific Tuesday and Wonderful Wednesday. And I thought, well, thanks, viewer. I think we should call every day. Uh, something and she says Thursdays are thankful Thursdays. Oh, I love that. I one. love that one. That one that's is, tomorrow. Yes, that's tomorrow. We'll be thankful for that. Yes, <laughs> I'm thankful that it's almost Friday. I am too because it feels like it's Friday right now. Although my it? mama is coming town and my yeah. grandma and my dad. Are they coming uh, Friday? Tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. Thursday. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And it's always fun to have the family. And then, of course, this weekend, I'm going to go to Tulsa and see my mom and my brothers. And it is a lot of fun. But then the travel and all that sort of thing kind of wears you out. I'm on the flip side. It's like you're used to your normal routine, and then mm -hmm. you have to entertain. I know. And entertaining is exhausting. Yeah, it is. And you know what? I, people say, oh, don't worry about your house if it's a mess. I can't have company if my house is a mess. Are you kidding me? No, it, it stresses no. me out. I like to serve people. I want it to be pretty. I want it to look good. So um, I, I try to let go of that a little bit as time goes on. I figure... People can't see the dust as much as I can, but still, right. I, I like it to look. That's nice. why Monday it was all yard work, getting everything final planted because yeah. oh, mom yeah. and grandma oh, will be yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Yesterday cleaned part of the house. Today it will be cleaning the rest of the house. I went grocery shopping for my mom's ingredients. I went shopping for additions. I, I mean, know. literally every day after work has just been planning, planning, planning for the arrival. Uh -huh. And then once they get here, you know, you have to do lots of stuff Absolutely. and going to favorite restaurants. So. Yeah. I'm already exhausted. <laughs> I know, I know. It's a good time, but is it, yeah. it is exhausting. Now, Jeremy, I wanted to mention, back uh, a little bit ago, we had Lori Locke and some of her band on the show. They did a great job. Uh, they're playing at the Peach Tree Festival, which is this weekend. It's Mother's Day weekend. However, I, it has been moved, all right? It was going to be in Crane. It's not going to be in Crane. It's going to be at Jack Mountain Amphitheater. All right, there will be lots of handmade crafts there. And if you want to take your mom, there's great music. Of course, the Lori Locke Band. Papa Green Shoes, Brandon Moore, Claw Hammer, and Evil Awful. Do you know Evil Awful? Don't. I, I don't. don't. I don't. I don't. But I'm sure they're good. So if you're looking for something to do this weekend, go out to the Jack Mountain Amphitheater and have some fun. They've got a page, a Facebook page for more information. It's Peach Tree Down South Music Festival. Peach Tree Down South. So go check that out if you're looking for something today to do. Should be lots of fun. Obviously, we're not looking for something to do. We got. We lots are not. On. And yeah. I am more surprised. There are so many things going on on Mother's Day weekend. weekend. I know. Like you would think they'd plan on a, a non-holiday, yeah. like Vision Con. Well, and, and that. And they got assigned the weekend that they oh. had to do the Vision Con. Although it's all good news all the way around because they are booked and they have more tickets sold than they ever have. So mm -hmm. that's great. Probably next week, uh, next year, it won't be on Mother's Day, but that was what they ended up with this but year. But it's great for those moms who love cosplay, like cosplay mom Elizabeth that was on. Yes. If your mama loves it, take mama there for Mother's Day. I love it. I, I do. And I would not I would love to go if you and I didn't have things going on because we were invited to come out. And yeah, we just, we just can't. And speaking of Vision Con and superheroes, you know who my hero is? I do. Oh. Joe Morano. Yes, I knew that. Oh, boy. It's <laughs> Joe Morano. I'm so, oh, wait. That's so sweet. I thought I was going to get a misdirect and you're going to oh, say no, Lauren no. or Lisa, even no, though you're no, coming no. to me right now. Yeah. Joe, I'm being <laughs> nice on this wonderful Wednesday. Yeah. It is wonderful Wednesday. I do like that. I do need to backtrack for a minute, though, because did you say it felt like a Friday here? Yeah, a little Is bit. Because you're in a good mood or because a long week? Just because the last two weeks have been so busy. Yes, that's exactly what I'm thinking as well, because we're talking royal baby. I thought this baby came like a week ago. It was less than two days ago, guys. Oh, my goodness. Oh, so we got the first pictures. People are all about that right now. If you scroll on down. Uh, the initial headline that we were talking about, though, is that there are a massive amount of bets being placed on this. Do you know this about what the name would oh, be? Oh, the name. And okay. Spencer has taken um, a, a big, what am I trying to the say? Lead? It's taking a lot. Yeah, it's taking oh, a lot. Oh, is that right? It was 50 to 1 odds, which well, you would know pay you why. Now you they're 4 why. to 1 odds. Why? Because that's Diana's surname. There it is. There that's it is. what, and that's what, uh, that's what everyone's saying. So a lot of bets went with that, and then there's a lot of hype for Alexander, I believe, as well, Aww. as that could be a favorite for the name. I read online and too, Winston. Arthur. Oh, Winston. Arthur. Right? I love Winston. the name Winston. I think that's I like adorable. I like that too. I like Spencer. I just found it funny. We're talking. I don't, I don't have a betting problem, everyone. All right. I haven't bet on any of this stuff. <laughs> but we're talking about betting. We talked about the Derby. Now we're talking about this. Combine them. Name the baby country house. <clears throat> 
That was the winner of the Kentucky Derby. I'm kidding. Don't do oh, that. Yeah, don't, don't do that. Yeah, guys. don't do that. I know the royal the royals are watching. Yeah, so they probably are. Don't do that, guys. You know, mm. I want to see the baby's full head because I guarantee that baby's got a full head of hair. I think it has think black so? hair. I think it does. Okay. <laughs> and that's they, what I'm guessing. Yeah, it could be. Don't all right babies look come... so cute with hair? Yeah, they do. Yeah, very nice. I think so. I, I have more over, pictures about I have to come over out. Spencer sure. because um, Kate and William named their daughter Charlotte something something Diana. So Diana's name is mixed in with Charlotte's. Mm -hmm. Okay. So they use Diana's name as one yeah. of the middle names. Right. They used to do like four middle names. Of course. Yeah, it was really long. Yeah, Philip yeah. Arthur, William George, you know, like that. <laughs> of fill in the blank. Yes, <laughs> of Windsor, the house of Windsor. So I would love the name Spencer in honor of Diana. Yeah, yeah. Because I think that would be great and would, the, the people of England and the world would love that as a tribute. I, I have a question. Nice, okay, right? real quick. Uh, yeah. They don't know the name of the baby yet, okay? Mm -hmm. Obviously, they have all this time to think about it. Is this kind of a thing to get the, the public on board? Because they've got nine months to think about about it or are they really taking kind of what I've wondered I'm, as well or is it really a yeah. last minute they can't decide oh no they, they already know they've already named they, it they, they just haven't know. released it yet yeah okay. oh absolutely okay so the, it's all <laughs> and that's fun fact saying. they had to get the Queen's approval before they announce it too ah they have to go to the okay. Queen and say we'd like to name our baby William Philip Arthur George and she has to be like yes or no which she's probably no already kidding. approved yes mm -hmm. okay so and Elisa Raffle's shaking her head because she knows I know royals I knew that yeah she knew that what happens if she says no New Back name. to the drawing board. Back to the drawing board. <laughs> Let's get to this next headline really quickly because we're talking about Mom's Day. Mm -hmm. For you moms with the kids out there, Kraft is helping you out. The macaroni and oh, cheese guys. Nice. Look at this here. According to Care.com, one of the things Mom wants the most is some time alone. Agree? Yes. Probably, right? I agree. So on Mother's Day, Kraft has an offer to help mothers do less mothering. Maybe take a little day off. The company says it'll reimburse the cost of a babysitter of up to $100 so that mom can have the time off and time off for free. So you can make a reservation, do whatever you'd like to do. Mm. Maybe just check into a hotel to, to take a nap in some peace and quiet, right? So you can go to Craft Mother's Day Away through May 19th and you uh -huh. can submit your babysitting receipt. So there you oh, go. that's fantastic. Not a bad move by Kraft, right? Yeah, they're thinking about moms. They set up to $100. They haven't said how much they're willing, how many, how, how many people? Or right. How much yeah, money yeah. are willing to reimburse? Mm -hmm. yeah. There you go. So you got to try and get on there and do that. But I think it's a great idea for mom to get a little time on her own. It is right? a great idea. Mm -hmm. My mom was such an unconventional mom. She just she didn't want any time on her own. She just wanted to hang out with us all the time. Yeah. Oh really? Oh yeah. Oh, that's yeah. So sweet. I'm like, mom, can I go somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Joe. We well, appreciate it. I knew I'd drive my mom crazy. So. Or did <laughs> yeah, back then. Take, take I don't know if you guys it. did. Did Elisa? I'm not sure. Yeah. What do you, Elisa, would, you, would your mom appreciate some time on her own? Oh, of course. But I wasn't the one driving her crazy. It was my brother. So. Oh. That's what she told you. She's about to text me and be like, you're lying. <laughs> um, Flash flood watch continues until 7 a.m. Thursday, long and north of 544. We're still dealing with this stall front. Another one to two inches of rain is possible. We've got a line of showers and storms on its way in right now. We've got the locally heavy rain and lightning stretch from Clinton through Stockton, Monette, getting just down to about uh, Harrison there on its way into Springfield. So if you didn't leave yet, you'll have some uh, heavy rain and lightning possible. 68 degrees in Springfield right now, 66 in West Plains and 64 in Fort Leonard Wood. On and off wet roads through the day today as we keep rounds of showers and storms, 72 degrees by dismissal as we start out with these temperatures in the 60s with those uh, rounds of showers and storms. Now, here's what we got going on today. So we have this line coming in now. There's not enough juice for severe weather. If this line slows through the day and stops, then we'll have enough time with the daytime heat and humidity to fuel strong and severe storms. And that would, I think, happen mainly for the eastern Ozarks with a threat for large hail, damaging winds, widespread flooding. Then we could redo that again. That line passes. We stay quiet for a couple hours. We recharge the atmosphere again. And then we could have an overnight threat with all modes of severe weather possible. So two rounds possible today, one in the afternoon, one in the overnight, and they're going to feed into each other. If one is strong, the other one might not be as strong. If one is weak, the other one might be stronger. So we have to keep an eye out on how this plays out today. Widespread flooding continues to be a main threat. So showers and storms continue to push eastward. If this line stalls, that gives it enough time to fuel a severe threat along the line. Locally heavy rain and lightning will be threats. We're looking at uh, a couple of showers possible through Thursday as well with cool 50s and 60s. Uh, the severe threat on Thursday moves to the south and east. Uh, so as the front finally, finally exits sunshine on Friday, a sneak peek at Mother's Day. Look, I added Brenda Ray and 
Hi. Mom is Charlotte. Oh. Look how cute. That's 70 awesome. degrees and uh, we'll have some sunshine. It should be pretty nice out there. Jeremy Kelly. Thanks Thank so you, much, Elisa. Elisa. For, for our mama's on there. Yes. All right, coming up, it's our morning sports report. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. Ozarks Fox AM will be right back. But mama's day. Yeah. Mama's day. Oh, yes. Yes.